<laughs> Welcome to MMA Dogs. My name is Hector. This is my dog, Dan. What's up? And we just want to take a second to thank all our viewers and subscribers. You know, it really uh, motivates us and keeps us going forward. Seeing you guys leave those comments and, and, and liking our videos. Thank you for doing that. Liking our Facebook page. Thank you for, for visiting and, and liking that. Also, uh, our homepage, you know, we've got a, a website. So go ahead and check that out, MMADogs.com. And then uh, also, you know, if you like the video, uh, the videos that we're doing, please subscribe. By subscribing, you'll get an email notification letting you know, hey, we've uploaded a new video. So, uh, so yeah, take a, take a chance, take a minute, uh, take a second to do that. If you know anybody that is involved with MMA and predictions and betting and stuff like that, please tell them about us. Um, we really appreciate the support. And if you have any questions for us at all, please comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Yep. So tonight we're going to take a look at UFC 155. So let's dive into it. We'll break down these fights. And now let's take a look at the heavyweight championship of the world, UFC 155. We're going to take a look at Junior Dos Santos versus Cain Velasquez. Now most recently, Cain Velasquez fought Bigfoot Silva and TKO'd him in the first round. Just a, a bloody mess of a fight. And uh, the fight before that, he was uh, knocked out by Junior Dos Santos in the first round and lost his belt. Let's take a look at Junior Dos Santos' last two fights. Most recently, he got, uh, he TKO'd, he knocked out Frank Mir in the second round. In the fight before that, he took the belt from Kane and he knocked him out. So, this fight is, is fun to break down because we actually have a, a previous fight to, uh, to reference. You know, we already saw them fight once, we already saw the outcome. And, uh, and I want to touch base on that. Let's talk about that first. In that first matchup, both fighters were injured going into the fight. And with Kane, I could tell he was injured at the weigh-in. He, uh, he didn't look like his usual self. And not only that, but his weight was off also. So that greatly affected you know, his training camp, the injury that he had. Greatly affected his training camp. He wasn't even able to get down into the fighting shape that you, he's usually in. And you know that can affect the guy's... Uh, psyche, you know, when you know you're injured, you know you're going into a fight, like, man, and, uh, you know, just taking a look at that, and then taking a look at Junior also having an injury, so both these guys were injured going into it, then the question becomes, which fighter, which fighter's game plan, which fighter's mentality, which fighter's overall uh, abilities were affected the most by that injury, was it Kane's injury that affected his plan the most, or was it Junior Dos Santos' injury that affected him the most? So we have to take a look at that and take that into account. Now, in my opinion, it was Cain Velasquez's injury that affected him the most. That's, that's, that's my feeling from watching the whole fight, watching the previous fights. Um, in my opinion, he was affected the most. But not to take anything away from Junior Dos Santos, he, Junior Dos Santos rose up to the occasion despite his injury and knocked out Cain Velasquez and took the belt from him. Now you remember this, dog. The uh, after the weigh-ins, when we watched the weigh-ins, um, one thing I like to clear before I go into that actually is that Junior Dos Santos and Cain Velasquez are my two favorite fighters in the UFC, hands down. Um, and then the, my third is would be Anderson Silva, but those are my top. You know, you know that dog. Favorite fighters that I have. I mean, they're just my favorite. I remember when uh, when I watched. Uh, Fabricio Verdum fight against uh, Junior Dos Santos. That fight. Oh, who's interrupting? Who, who do we have? Who do we have? Who do we have, dog? Who do we have? It's Overeem. Overeem. Yeah. Overeem. What does Overeem what want? The hell? Let's find out what Overeem wants here. Yo, what's up? He wants to know if I know a place where he can get some horse meat. <laughs> you know, some horse. Some horse meat. Hey man, we're in the middle of, ta of talking about Junior Dos Santos and Cain Velasquez. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh he's saying, uh, oh, that, uh, that, okay, he thinks that Cain Velasquez is going to take care of Junior Dos Santos for him. <laughs> hey, but you know so what, too. hey, you know what, we got we to gotta finish this breaking this out. I don't know exactly where you can get some horse meat. I'm sure if you just go on the internet, you'll be able to find some. <laughs> All right, talk to you later. See ya. Uh, here. Well, that was a surprise. That was a surprise for sure. So over him, think picking Cain Velasquez over uh, over Junior Dos Santos. So so back to what we were talking about. So Junior Dos Santos first fight in the UFC against Fabrizio Verdum, right? And I remember it was a fight that it was a, on the card that Thiago Alves fought uh, Josh Koscheck, 
because that was my first large wager that I've ever done in, in UFC and the MMA. It was, uh, I picked Thiago Alves over Josh Koscheck. So I remember that, that clearly. It was on the same fight card. And, uh, and it was a prelim. It was a prelim fight. And I remember at the time thinking to myself, watching Junior Dos Santos knock out Fabricio Redoom, saying to myself, that guy's the future of the heavyweight division. No, no like joke. You said future champion. Not only, yeah, exactly. Not only the future of it, the champion of, of the of the heavyweight division. You could just tell by his uh, by by the boxing that he displayed. And you know, usually heavyweights aren't the most agile fighters. You know, they're not like you know bantam weights and featherweights and lightweights who can move around. But he could move around. He had low body fat levels. He was just strong. You could just tell this guy did all the right things. And uh, he went in there huge, a huge, a huge underdog, huge underdog against Fabrice Radum. Fabrice Radum was supposed to fight the champion. So he went in there, knocked out Fabrice Radum. And you could just tell he was, he was so happy. He went over, hugged Nogueira. Oh, yeah, 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 He's just so happy. And uh, at that time, you know, man, this, guy's, this guy is going to be the champion. This guy really has a lot to offer. And then, uh, you know, just beating people up left and right. He's never, ever, ever, ever let me down, Junior Dos Santos. He's just, just on a tear. And then we got a guy like uh, like Cain Velasquez, you know, who has just this incredible wrestling. I mean, that fight we were there at the Honda Center when he fought uh, Brock Lesnar. And, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, remember that? that? Remember that? I remember yep. when I remember when Brock Lesnar walked out into the into the arena Brock, at the Honda Center. Brock Lesnar is going on with the belt no matter what. That's yeah, just all kinds of, all kinds of crazy talk and nonsense. And yeah. I remember when uh, when Brock Lesnar shot in for his first takedown, the whole octagon just you just see the whole octagon just yeah. move. I mean, this guy's up. Beast, a mammoth of a man walking into the octagon. And uh, Cain Velasquez was able to handle him. Was able to handle him. Not only that, take him down, beat him up, cut him wide open, and his cheek just just a display of just, just skill. And then what he did to, to Bigfoot Silva. So to break this fight down, I mean, it is just one of those fights where I'm thinking to myself, man, I really, really wish they were fighting other people and not each other. Just because it is such a such a such a such a interesting, such a good matchup. The wrestler versus the boxer. Who's going to win? Now, um, Junior Dos Santos, the fighter that he fought in Cain Velasquez last time, wasn't the same fighter that we're going to get December 29th. Exactly. It's not, it's not it, right, Doug? Nope. It's not, not it. It really well, we is. We know it. Junior Dos Santos doesn't have a knee injury himself either, so yeah. he's better. So he's better, and he's already beat him, so he's got the confidence going into it. Exactly. But before that he fought Cain Velasquez, the best wrestlers that Junior Dos Santos had fought were Shane Carwin, I mean, when we think about Shane Carwin, we don't really think of a wrestler. Yeah. I mean, it's a knock. He's a knockout artist, right? Knockout guy. He's gonna knock the guys. Big guy's gonna knock him out. Incredible power. And Roy Nelson. We don't really think of a wrestler either, but those are the best wrestlers that he had faced. So with Roy Nelson, you know, we think of a guy who's gonna knock somebody out or get him in the crucifix, put the belly on the face, put the belly yep. on the head, yep. and then and then extend the arm for an armbar, right? Or 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 yeah, or TKO. No, just TKO. So so now we have him going up against. Hopefully, the real Cain Velasquez, the wrestler. And we have, uh, we have Cain Velasquez coming off a strong outing against Bigfoot. I mean, you just tell this man is possessed. You know, one interesting thing, when, when we were at the Honda Center watching the fight, uh, I saw uh, Cain Velasquez's dad in the audience sitting down. You know, he had his hat on. And I thought to myself, man, God, like, it would... What a what an interesting what a what a what a situation to be in where your son is fighting a guy like Junior Dos Santos and uh, and you know I like I told you guys I was pretty I was very I was a five star pick for me sure that Junior was gonna get Kane and and he did so I remember thinking like man what a like what a what a tough position to be in you know watch your son fight you know I have a lot of respect for fighters a lot of respect for people who. Who support them, their family, their friends, a lot of sacrifice that goes on. So I'm thinking to myself, like, man, that what a what a tough position to be in. And sure enough, I didn't expect it to be as fast and as easy as it was, but sure enough, Junior goes out there, lands, lands that that that, that punch right right by the ear, right around the ear area, and pff, Kane falls, and you know, that's it. So what I see there is Kane is not gonna allow that to happen again. He he's gonna try his hardest to not let that happen again. And I'm just torn between i've never felt this way between picking a fight and uh and and this is putting my 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 favorites aside originally when when i when i had uh talked talked about 
this fight with my dog. This is a fight we spent a lot of time talking about. I said Cain Velasquez is going to use his wrestling to take Junior down, take him down, ground and pound. You know, perhaps we would see a decision in the heavyweight division. You know, something, something, something we've never seen. It's a matchup like we've never seen. So I'm thinking to myself, like, man, is, is Cain Velasquez going to be able to take him down and then work the ground and pound? But we've seen Junior Dos Santos' great ability to prove it, you know, to, to keep the fight standing up, to keep the fight standing up. So I'm just in a real, I mean, this is a really, really tough position to be in, trying to decide, okay, who's going to, who's going to win, who's going to win. And this morning, I spent at least I had another, an extra, I mean, on top of the time I already spent researching it, an extra time researching this fight. And I see, I mean, I've looked at Junior Dos Santos, just started looking at his record all the way through, just the way he's been going through, guys, the way he's been going, just working, working, working. And I know he's working on his wrestling. I know he's brought some big wrestlers, uh, big uh, Division I, you know, All-State, All-American wrestlers to wrestle with and stuff like that. So I'm just thinking to myself, man, what exactly is going to happen? Now, I think that the, 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 the fan side of me, the fan side of me wants to see the belt go back to Cain Velasquez. But this morning, like I said, I was looking it up and looking at some different things. And man, Junior Dos Santos, this guy is no joke. I mean, you, we've talked about this so many times, Doug. Just to, and, and, and I really didn't think I would be standing here saying that Junior Dos Santos is going to keep his belt. Junior Dos Santos will beat Cain Velasquez for the second time. Uh, I really didn't think that I was going to be sitting here saying this because I took a look at the fight he had with uh, with Roy Nelson. Yeah, we couldn't finish Roy Nelson, and uh, you know, but Roy Nelson is just so tough to finish. How about the and Carlin fight? The Carlin, the Carlin fight. He couldn't finish Carlin, so I'm thinking to myself, my God, you know, and Cain Velasquez. There's one fight that I really don't like with Cain Velasquez, and I think this is what's holding me back from from going with Cain. The fight he had with with Czech Congo. And how many times Chuck Congo dropped it? Yeah, that was back in 2009. That was three years ago. But still, you know, a chin is just one of those things that, that you either have it or you don't. Some guys have it. Some guys don't. Chris Lieben, you know, somebody like Chris Lieben. My, my guy, I got Roy Nelson. Oh, man. But Junior Dos Santos, man, just a, just a uh, man, what a positive guy. And I hate, to, I hate to pick against Cain Velasquez because, like I said, you know, he's one of my favorite fighters. And, you know, I really respect his whole story, where he came from. But I'm gonna have to go with 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 what I feel is the outcome of this fight. Junior Dos Santos retaining his belt, uh, be, whether it be KO or TKO. But I see Junior Dos Santos retaining his belt. Do not bet. It's a do not bet for me. It's a big old do not bet. Why not sit back, enjoy, watch this fight when it could go either way? And I know some of you guys are gonna say, "Oh no, this guy's gonna win. This guy's gonna win." But nothing. You don't know anything for sure. Anything for certain. Uh, especially with this particular matchup, dog. I mean, I just, um, I really see it uh, going that, going for Junior Dos Santos. Do not bet. Uh, what do you got, dog? What do you got? Yeah, it's it's a pretty tough one Man. to call. Like uh, I like both guys. Also, uh, we were together for the uh, the Brock Lesnar Kane Velasquez fight. Watched we Kane watched take that the one. belt. Then we went back to see Junior take the belt from Kane. Yep. And Honda by, Center twice. By the way, by the way, at that fight, me and my dog in a tiny little section yeah. across the arena. Yeah. Like with Brazilian, like yep. they had their flags, and everybody five, else in the, in the arena was stars. Latino. Everybody five else was Latino yeah. all day on the cane train. Yeah, I mean, like let's that. not let's not let's not let's not make a joker. You know, it was it was Mexico. It was Mexico, Mexico versus Brazil. It was almost like a like a soccer game, you right? Know? And it was you know being in Anaheim, it was a lot of Mexican people, mm -hmm. a lot of Mexican Americans in the crowd, and uh, and it was great. It was a great environment to be in. A great showing, and there were very few Brazilians in the crowd. Um, and very, very few people cheering on Junior Dos Santos. So it was, uh, we would cheer for Junior when he got introduced and stuff. Yeah. And everyone else was cheering yeah, for right? Kane. Wow, so it was like, this? yeah, so it was like, it was, yeah, it was, it was like, uh, it was very, it was a great, great time, fun environment. But go ahead, Doug, go ahead. Uh, yeah, so anyways, this fight, uh, both guys have gone the distance. Three round decision. They both won. Yeah. Three round decision. Yeah. Um, so neither guy has seen the fourth round yet. Will it go to the fourth round? Uh, Probably not. Probably not a fourth round. I want to see, uh, regardless of who wins, I want to see a fight that lasts longer than 64 seconds. Let's put it that way. I want, I want, we're paying money yeah. to go see this fight. Yep. I want to see a fight that goes longer than the last one. Regardless yeah. of who wins, it'll probably be a second or third round stoppage by either guy. 
Um, I'm going to favor Kane the longer the fight goes. Junior Dos Santos, you know, finished off Frank Mir in the second round last time. Mm. But I feel like he was just trying to prove a point to Frank Mir in that fight and not really considering um, that. I mean, he could have been. He could. He he is that good. He is a good fighter. But I just really feel as if Cain Velasquez has more to want to win more. He's gonna. There's just something. You know, the fight over Czech Congo. Yeah, he got. He didn't really have the greatest chin in that fight. He still ran through Czech Congo like a truck all the whole fight. So I see a similar situation going through this for three, possibly five rounds. But I'm going to say that Cain Velasquez gets this fight by TKO in the second or mm. third round. Ooh-wee. Somehow, if he doesn't take Junior Dos Santos down, he's going to catch him. Mm. I know Junior Dos Santos is like a monster to try to stand up with. I, I do understand that. But I do see Cain just going out there and being better than he was last time. Not just because he was injured last time, but also because... This is the guy that beat him. This is the guy that took what was his. And uh, everybody's all on Junior now because he beat Kane. Well, what happens when if Kane beats Junior this time? Are they going to be considered even or are they going to have to fight again? So it's a really kind of push comes to shove fight. Either guy could win. I'm going to say three stars. I do have a lot of faith in Kane Velasquez. But because Junior Dos Santos is the man, he is the champ that, that, that took the belt, I just have to say that he's Junior Dos Santos is not going to win this fight, and I see unless unless he cranks out a five round decision and somehow like has better cardio than Kane, which we don't know yet. Uh, I don't think he does based on the two decisions we've seen him go. Yeah. So yeah, I just see Kane Velasquez winning this fight. I know both guys were injured, but Kane Velasquez had a much worse injury last time they fought, and I just see. I just see uh, Junior Dos Santos fatiguing more than Cain Velasquez as the fight goes on. Uh, Junior Dos Santos by win early, Cain Velasquez by by win at any point, basically. Uh, probably not early, but at any point. It's going to take a lot of Cain to take away uh, what Junior has. Yeah, it, a lot of them. Yeah, some some closing thoughts on this fight. You know, the, the, as I hear my dog talk about the fight and and we're discussing it. Um, <coughs> So some closing thoughts on the fight here is, is I hear my dog talking about it and discussing it. You know, for me, it is such a such a such a such a close, razor thin decision for me to, to make. I could go. It's, I feel like it's fifty one percent one, forty nine percent the other. Like I could really see Cain Velasquez, like you said, have this 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 drive, almost possessed, to go in there and get his belt back. And actually, now that I, now that I'm thinking about this, I remember hearing Cain Velasquez talk about getting the belt back. And, you know, people talk about it, you know, ah, this, 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 and that. But some people, when they talk about it, you can Heavyweights. tell. Heavyweights. Heavyweights are the hardest like, to predict. For example, Tito Ortiz. I'm in the best shape of my life. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to beat this guy up. I'm going to beat that guy up. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And then he goes in there and looks the same, if not worse, than before. Oh, I had a, I had a crack skull. I had a crack spine. I had the CC. And so you get these guys doing all this stuff. Well, you know, you don't see it, right, dog? I mean... But then you get guys like Cain Velasquez, you know, who when they talk, you know, they're, you know, so I, I can see how my dog thinks Cain Velasquez. And up until this morning, I, re- I had Cain Velasquez. And that's why it's a do not bet. Fights that I feel like this about, for, for me, I mean, my dog feels different. But for me, I do not bet. There's no way. I mean, some guys, oh, the odds and this and that. But it really comes down to picking a winner. I don't care whether it's, you know, plus 1,000, minus 1,000. If you pick a winner, you win. That's it, right? Picking a winner. So, for this particular fight, I see it could go either way. 51%, 49%. Almost 50-50, right? So I'm going to say with this one, uh, do not bet. Just, just enjoy it. There's so, many other, there's so many other good fights on that card to bet on that you don't, have to, you don't have to bet on this one. You don't have to unless you feel like my dog. You know, you see something going somebody's way. Or, Kane? Or, yeah, plus or, or, money? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. and you know, one, one other thing I like to comment on is uh, how close the odds are. You would think that they would have... I would have thought they would have been closer. No, no, you would think that, you think they're closer? Almost like pick them? Uh, well, I think. I, I, I would think, I personally would think that that the public would bet, not only the public, but also the, the, the odds makers open up the line to where uh, Junior is more of a favorite, Kane is more of an underdog. 
I was surprised at how close the line the line is. I was very surprised. If if Cain Velasquez was around like plus two hundred or something like that, I'd be like, okay, you know, I could see I could see now the the the, the value, right? The attraction, the 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 value in it or the attraction of it. And then it's like, okay, well, hey, but it's so so close. It's so close that I said, what? Am I am I am I not seeing something here? Am I am I missing out on something here? So uh, I don't know. I, 51%, 49%, and, and I mean, almost a 50-50 here, dog, for me. Yep. Well, what, what do you think, dog? What, what do you got here for us? Uh, what, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, just other, yeah. other than everything I've said, I, I simulated this fight on the game also. 21 times. Oh, yeah, what do we got? 11 times Cain Velasquez won. 10 times Junior Dos Santos won. Just Very a close. big old clusterfuck on this. Yeah. All the fights, pretty much one guy wins. One or two fights more fuzz. than another guy. So, it, it, yeah, it's a cluster fight. But like I said, it's just for fun to see what happens. Yeah. There's no yeah. obvious like outcome regardless of what would happen in the game anyways. But yeah. it, it, help, it definitely helps to, as a tool, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's just one of those fights where, where we could just talk about it. We were talking about it on and on and on and on. And uh, we'll talk about it, you know, because it gets leads up closer to the fight. We'll probably talk about it on a podcast or or some kind of a video, a vodcast, something like that. But... But for now, my dog's taking uh, Cain Velasquez, three stars. I'm taking uh, Do Not Bet, Junior Dos Santos. And uh, we'll have to see. We're really excited for this for this fight, for this uh, fight card. We can't wait. We can't wait till we're in Vegas, December yeah. 29th, watching the, watching the, the, the main, not only the, the, not only the main card, but also the preliminary card. You yeah. know, we got Chris Lieben on the, on the prelims. We got a bunch of other good fights on the prelims and, and we can't wait. So uh, we'll, 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 we'll talk to you then. We'll see you then. <laughs>